Hello! This is ELB. Let's get back to work after a good amount of time. Also, I'd just like to say really quick, Yeah Yeah Yeah's earlier stuff was really fucking weird. Like, if you ever get the chance, listen to the song Art Star, and then compare it to their later stuff. Anyhow. So, I have been gone, or I've been on vacation, I should say, for like three weeks. And I just flew back in. Well, not flew back. I just got back home from vacation yesterday. Last night, I should say. Uh, started off by going and seeing the eclipse in Oregon. Went to Puerto Rico for a couple weeks. And then... Well, Puerto Rico was hit by a hurricane. In fact, it was hit by Hurricane Irma on... What day is it today? It's Monday today. On Wednesday, September the 6th, 2017, is when Irma hit. And that was the day I was supposed to fly out. Changed the flight date to Thursday. That day got cancelled. Managed to get a flight out on Friday. And managed to get to my family reunion at 1am. They didn't know I was going to get there. They thought that we were stuck in Puerto Rico. And walked in and everyone cheered and it was wonderful. I was surprised that people were even up still. It was great. So anyhow. That's what happened. Uh, but I am not the kind of person who enjoys just sitting around and doing nothing. And in Puerto Rico, when visiting my boyfriend's family, I really didn't have a whole lot to do. So, or at least... On some days, I didn't have a whole lot to do. There were days when we were doing all sorts of stuff, but... It was a vacation. We were supposed to be lazy. But for me, that meant plenty of time to work on stuff. So... I've gotten a lot more work done on the inventory system. So you're not going to be able to see everything in this video that I've done, but you are able to see the basics, right? So I'm sure you remember these guys. Uh, let's see what's new. This thing is new. Got some potions right here. They look a little bit nicer. Now we got this. So I'm gonna take this potion, stick it in here. Now we have this. So it's gonna say how many we have. Uh, if we were to have different other types of tools that we could add to this, then they would also be added under tools, and then they would just fill that whole space up. Uh, I can also just press X to auto-add it. Let's see. Uh, there are a number of different shapes available. I know that I've sh like looked at the different possible shapes, from these single squares to full-on tetraminos. And with them all, as you can see, they do tell you if they are touching another one. We can also rotate them. And if it was a more complicated shape, you'd see it rotate. We can also flip them. As useful as that is. With these. Anyhow, currently the potions do not work. But, as you can see, they'll then go down. Let me get hurt real quick. Come on. Face up! Oh my goodness, you big babies. Thank you. Okay. At least I'm... Yeah, it doesn't work. I'm, as you can see, I'm pressing X. Potions are going down. No potions left. Uh, pressing down on the D-pad will switch between the tools, but obviously I don't have other tools implemented yet. However... I also got a radial menu. So it, everything else is still currently available to do. Um, if there were, you know, tool two tools on the two bu tool belt, we would be able to select them with this radial menu. But we don't, so we only have that one item. Let's see, and I think that's roughly it for all I've done. Um, what I've been working on recently was simply this potion and making it actually look like something, you know? Uh. 
it was actually rather nice to just have time not requiring me to record anything where I was able to hash out shit. So, what is that? What the... I have no idea what that debug message is. Hold on. Uh... There we go. Was that it? Okay, cool. So what else am I doing now? Mm. Okay, so... Oh, there was one thing I did need to work do real quick. So I'm going to show you another small change to my code. Uh, let's see. We got... Where is it? No tools, aka no using tools. No equipping... No equip switch. Okay, and no drawing self. Obviously, uh, I think I added no tools to... The... To the... What do you call it? To the thing. I added no tools to the thing. To weapons, there we go. But I did not add no equip switch and no draw self. Um, I'm yeah, I'm gonna add no draw self. Or will I? Mm, I don't know. Yeah, I will. I'm gonna add no draw self. I don't know if I'll ever use it, but still. So I'm gonna look in scripts. Calc. Oh yeah. <laughs> disallow tools. Disallow. There created weapon ID dot disallow equip switch. There n equals true. So. I Do I actually want to do that? Because, I mean, it really doesn't make sense to allow it in the first place anytime when using a weapon. Yeah, I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to make that always happen. Disallow... Disallow drawing player. Or dr disallow draw self. Not sure which will ever use this. I'm gonna put it on false. So I'm going to do argument zero dot no draw self plus equal there created weapon ID dot disallow draw self zero. This ensures the player will not draw themselves. Okay. Gonna add this to our unarmed attack, which is our only test attack at the moment. Another thing about Yeah Yeah Yeah's songs Wedding Song sounds like weirdly dark before it actually gets going. Like, almost as if it's, 
like something horrible is about to happen. It's a lovely song, though. It's in their album Mosquito, I think. Is it Mosquito? Yeah, Mosquito. I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> I apologize for my loud sneezes. It's funny, because I always thought my dad sneezed way too loudly, and then suddenly I'm an adult and I sneeze way too loudly. I don't know why, I don't know if it's just something I got from him. Whatever. In any case... Now I'm going to put that on the side, objects, melee, melee weapon. Mm. So creator id dot no draw self minus equals disallow draw self attack state this ensures the player will not draw themselves. Okay, cool. Okay, I'm just gonna step through all of the code and find the places where that goes. Oh, here we go. Still minus equals. And right here, it is plus equals. Okay. Perfect. Got that in there. I have iced tea. It's funny, I didn't think I was actually going to be able to get home until uh, Monday for a little bit. Which really wasn't fun. Oh, today's Monday, by the way. Didn't think I'd be able to get home until today. But I did. Which means I get to go back to work. Which is fun. Alright, so let's just make sure we didn't break anything somehow, which is always a wonderful possibility. Get over here, you punk. Okay, I'm going to pause recording for just a moment. Hey, hello! I am back after quite a while, actually. I <laughs> stopped recording, like, hours upon hours upon hours upon hours ago, as in I've already slept since then. But, that is neither here nor there, let's continue. So, we were going to be... Hold on, my music's a little bit too loud. Just a little bit. Okay, so we were going to be... 
uh, modifying the sword real quick to make sure that we could not switch equipment when we're doing an attack. Sword, weapon, melee weapon, that. Okay, so step, again step, and step. Attack state negative one. Creator ID dot no. What was the variable? No equip switch. Okay, no equip switch. There we go. That's all I gotta do. Okay. So let's take a look at our potion code. Not sprites, scripts. J tool potion. Just to make sure this is working. There we go. potions, equip them, I exist. Wonderful. That's all we needed. So I'm going to be doing this in the end step, rather than the create or the step. It's going to be so first to test we're just going to add HP to the creator creator ID dot HP plus equals 50 destroy the potion instance destroy there we go Okay, let's get hurt real quick. You know what I need? So I can hurt myself quicker. Down to 50 health. Oh, didn't even pick up the potions. There we go. Let's bring ourselves down to zero health. There we go.
Hmm, I just realized. Don't know if you were noticing, but this was going up a little bit farther than it should have. I'm going to move this to pre-draw. Because it's most important in pre-draw, I'd say. Cool. Okay. So we're not actually going to do this. Instead, what we're going to do is this. We are going to do creator ID dot draw self no um, creator ID dot what were they okay creator ID dot no moving plus equals one, creator id dot no aim, dot no, mm, turning, nah, creator id dot no aiming, plus equals one, creator id dot no attacking, plus equals one, creator i dot no No interacting plus equal one. Creator ID dot no tools plus equals one. Creator ID dot no equip switch plus equals one. And we're gonna call that good. Okay, yeah, we'll call that good. So we're gonna need to set this behind a Boolean. Okay, take control equals true. Take control equals false. Okay. So we're going to make this like 4 by 4 pixels. We're going 
going to make it. Pretty simple looking. Eh, actually, no, it will make it five by five. center. Okay. Okay. And if Take control. It's true. We're going to increase a timer. If take control equals true. Timer plus plus. Actually, that's having it be undertake control is unnecessary. Ocean timer. Uh, let's see. Mm. Now we're doing the animation. So if potion timer is large than now if it's less than eleven and then if potion timer is larger than ten and potion timer is less than twenty one. Um, and then finally, if potion timer is larger than twenty, so three distinct timings. So x equals uh, creator id dot x minus three y equals creator id dot y plus five I guess. So we're just gonna have it kind of like to the left of the player. Um, Th 
then... So we have about 10 seconds to go from 0 to 90. So plus equals 10. Or minus equals 10, because we're going in the other direction. Because 0 is facing right, 90 is up, 180 is left, 270 is down. So we need to go to face down. back, then visible equals false, So from 21 to 70, then if potion timer is larger than or equal to 70, I guess we also need to do if potion timer is equal to 21. We can just do this. Change all these to negatives. Good. See, I guess I'll just go off center, even though they're both the same. Okay. Let's see if this works. Actually, no matter what happens, we can do this. Let's try that again. 
again. Okay. Gonna get her cut a bit first. Look at that! Looks kinda silly, but it does technically work. What else do I need? Well, here, I'm gonna bring it in... a little bit closer. See how that looks. It does look a little bit weird when you're right there and facing the wrong way. So the idea here is that we're going to draw the player ourself in this time. Okay. You know, I also want to make it so that we can't use like tools and weapons and stuff while dodging. I'm going to pause recording for a moment. Hello! I am back after another lengthy amount of time. Goodness gracious. I haven't been able to keep focused very long, which is a little bit unfortunate. Uh, give me a moment. I'm going to put on some music. I'm going to put on... Oh my goodness, why am I forgetting what it's called? Pilot Red Sun. achievement. Too loud. There we go. Okay. Still too loud. That should be fine. Alright, so I went to work since last doing anything. And I think 
part of the reason that I stopped was because I was thinking about a few more things that I need to do, or... Need to add more to this. Let's see, no interacting, no moving, no dodging. Um... What else? I feel like there was, like, one or two more things that I had thought of that I needed to add, like, no stun lock, or no stun equals zero whether or not the player can be stunned, usually meaning if above one player may is in hyper armor. Okay, um... that. Let's see, no attacking. Um... No tools. No equip switch. Um, whether or not, not, not the player can be hurt. Um, I might eventually add that to the dodge, but for now I'm not leaving an iframes. I'm going to add something right here really quick.
No, I did no turning twice. I didn't even realize. No turning, no attacking, no dodging. If no interacting is less than zero. If no SP regen is less than zero. If no tools is less than zero. If no equip switch is less than zero. If no draw self is less than zero. If no stun is less than zero. If no damage is less than zero. Okay. Okay. Okay, so show message ver message one plus um So hopefully this makes sense what I'm doing. I realize I haven't been talking. It just tells the player, which will probably be me, that I messed up. And cuz it's never supposed to go below 0. That means I screwed up somewhere in the code.
No tools. No equip switch. No draw self. No stun. Okay, so now to test this. I'm gonna do no damage equals think five. Let's see. Oh, oops. That's the part that I forgot. Sorry for my silence. It's just busy work at the moment, as you know. There we go. Let's try that again. People are laughing outside.
I'd like to do something similar with what I do with the stamina to the health. Okay, let's try this. Bonk, 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 bonk. Hit me. If you want to waste a bunch of the potions, you can. Here, I need to see if you can activate it real quick while dodging, because I'm not sure I made no tools actually do anything yet. I did not. Okay. Good to know. Try this again. Hurt me. There we go. Awesome. Real quick, I'm gonna change something in the...
And I'm gonna add this to begin step so that we can then have the arrow actually stop somewhere. So this should look a little bit better. As in, I won't just be magically taking damage from nothing, or at least that won't be what it looks like anymore. See how the arrow actually, like, hits me from somewhere now? I should heal. Even though it has absolutely no effect on gameplay yet. Okay. Let's see, the way I did it was like this. just use the same thing. Um,
so it can go down to only one health, which I highly doubt anyone will be able to survive on for any length of time. I think this is good. I'm not really sure, to be honest. Of course, I forgot to do that. Okay. So we have no way of viewing it yet. go. That should do nothing. Wonderful. Okay, so let's see, we got red, maroon, mm. purple maybe? I don't know. Yeah, I'll go with purple. Replacing you with purple, replacing you with purple, replacing you with purple, and finally replacing you with purple. Okay. We did not want to run it in that. Stop. Okay. Ah! Controller got stuck on the edge of the table and it fell. Ooh, that's really not very visible at all.
I'm gonna find some better colors for my bar. There we go. The fuck? So let's start with the darkest color. I want it to trend towards purple. Yeah, it's visible. No, I kind of like that shade. It's slightly... I don't know. Nicer looking. 237-28... Okay. Color RGB, yeah. So it was the color two three seven twenty eight thirty six two two three seven twenty eight thirty six. One seven five one sixty seven. 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 There we go. And the final one. is one two four three eighty eight. One two four three eighty eight. One two four three eighty eight.
Okay. Let's see how this looks. That's not what I wanted. <laughs> oh. There we go. I think I opened up a wound on my ankle just now. I'm gonna pause and check it in just a minute. So you look at that. We can see it clearly going down. Oh jeez, it looks a lot brighter on my other monitor than on the one I was looking at it on. Hmm. Like seriously, this is way better to find on my current mon- on the monitor I have this on that you can't see. So, I'm not sure, maybe I'll just make it even more of a jump later. In any case, let's drink a potion. There we go. Gotta punish the player. Alright, I'm going to pause recording for now. I might be finished for the night, I'm not totally sure. I guess we'll find out shortly. Nope, so I am at the end of my recording session. It's been nice to get back at this, to making videos after nearly a month. In any case, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day.